ठीक है आज हम बनाएंगे टुडे 75 फाइव वी विल मेक अ कैनवस ऑफ 75 फाइव सेंटीमीटर्स बाई एटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर्स इट्स एम डी एफ शीट आई हैव ऑलरेडी प्लेस द हुक्स ऑन टॉप ऑफ इट फर्स्ट आई विल इट्स एन इवनिंग सनसेट व्यू आई हैव यूज एक्रेलिक पेंट्स सो फर्स्ट आई विल मेक अ लॉट ऑफ वाइट कलर एंड एड विद अ लिटल बिट ऑफ ब्लू इन इट सो दैट टू गिव इट अ लिटल स्काई फील लुक Uh, just a, a very whitish sky, a light blue sky look. After that, I will add yellow to it, and it will become a little bit of purple. Yellow and uh, blue becomes a little violet. So I'll add this and uh, including white color because it should be a little pastel background. So I just started do, doing with this. When it is done, then I will add a little bit of orange, burnt orange with a little bit of uh, uh, red in the uh, edges of that sunset, uh, the half of the theme. When it is done, the same will be the onlooking shadow and downside, and then on the left side corner, I'll just do the mm, little patch of that island or the green greeny part where the trees will be grown. So mm, uh, the different shades of green I will be using in it, and plus I'll be adding. a little bit of black and uh, in the yellow also and in the greens also to give different shades of greens and then uh, with black and white i will give the shadow of that extension of that uh, island thing with white color i'll do the sunset uh, uh, with the 8 inch brush i will just rotate the white color so that it gives a sun uh, the sun image and with this lime yellow and white color paint i will give the shadow of the sunlight that will be filtering on to the other side of that view so uh, this is the shadow which i will be doing with this uh, the exact black color doesn't look nice for the tree trunks on the shadow side so i'll be adding uh, a little black into the deep red color so that it it's give the branches uh, the darker shades but not exactly the black but i will be adding little bit of black on but uh, somewhere here and there and then uh, i'll with the fan brush i'll be giving the leaves uh, impression uh, and uh, with different shades and then with this the fan brush i'll be adding dark brown black and green different tones of green in the horizontal movements just like this which i'm doing just to give a shadow on the top of the water and uh, shadows of that the island which i, I have made it right this is a very with a very light hand we have to do it so that it just gives a uh, the shadow of the leaves that are falling on to the uh, waters this way see and uh, these are the basic pine trees which i have made now the bigger trees with the with the branches they are just overshadowing and hanging on top of this i'll be making making it every time i am using black with a tinge of the red color exact deep black color doesn't look nice although in the picture in the video it's looking like as if it's a deep black it's not pure black i'm just adding little bit of red also so that it looks uh, and somewhere also the darker that deeper the wider branches they are black but the thinner the branches become they'll be lighter in colors then with the fan brush i'll be doing with the different tones of greens hot and you uh, hot and uh, like light and dark because of the sunlight because if the sunlight filters towards the leaves the leaves will be giving the autumn kind of a feeling or the sunset kind of a feeling where the freshness of the green color does not appears as much as uh, in the morning time or as in the day time so the um, there has to be a little um, what do we say olive colors or the the, the uh, towards a warmer tone of the greens so i'll be adding little bit of orange to it a little bit of uh, mustard yellow and the uh, olive greens uh, but not the fresher green colors right and on the opposite sides of the trees i'm giving a different tree uh, with a different leaf style with the, with the uh, warmer hues of red red orange and a little bit of maroon kind of a stuff or a darkish brown or maroonish kind of color trees and when they the it comes to shrubs on the very down on the right corner of this uh, uh, land area uh, i'll be making a shrub of the uh, reddish or a neon color the leaves so that um, it's giving a little lighter because the already the background the the uh, the background which i have made the earthy things they're already in the browns and darker tones so the red color and the um, orangish colors will stand out in that 
so you see this is how and with the branches i'll be using very very light color of this a uh, light brown uh, with a very thin brush which is called the liner brush you may say or 0 0.01 brush so this is how the the red and the yellows i'm doing it for the liner which um, from the down part which i'm showing the shrubs also i'm using uh, i have used the fan brush for this this is a little bit of the hill or the, the muddy stacking um, in the uh, uh, less mud area you know the ground area you may say and putting it a lot of a uh, lot so that it's giving it a bit of a relief work you know the lot of paint so that it stands out and it is a little highlighted also it, it's not just a mm, mm, static thing a static no uh, uh, it's not a flat thing sorry so this is the complete view i hope you like my uh, wall hanging you please write down in your comments that you like it or not and if you want to request more uh, some sun uh, some sets or any any landscape uh, painting or anything you want me to uh, paint it for you so i'll be glad to receive any comments uh, i hope you like my um, tutorial and uh, it proves to be helpful for you thank you so much for watching